Hi, this is Nick from Acton Custom. Today we're going to show you how to connect up your remote oil cooler and your remote oil filter with the lines that you bought from Acton Custom. Let's start with this car is a CSX or original framed style car and this is what the lines are made to fit and they are indexed to fit it. You will see looking at the video that the inner fender and the exhaust system is all off this car which is a good time to install these lines and it's a good time to show you where they all run. Let's start with the remote oil filter block screwed to the side of our motor and that's where the oil comes out of the motor. The first thing that that goes through is a pipe to AN straight adapter screwed into it. On the outside of that we have a 90 which is this is the 90 end of our first of the three hoses. This hose is about 24 inches long so we screw the 90 adapter onto the straight adapter uh, I'm sorry, the 90 fitting onto the straight adapter. That 24 inch hose goes through the X member on the frame, loops back up through, and we now have a straight end on the hose, the 24 inch first hose. That goes to a 90 degree adapter, which takes us through into the oil filter housing. That is going through, as you see, on the outside of the oil filter, which makes sense because that is the largest surface area or the outside of the filter. We're now going to go to our second line. We're going to come out of the top of the oil filter. We're going to screw into a straight adapter this time. So this goes the pipe to AN straight adapter. Out of the straight adapter, we will connect our longest of the three lines. This one's around 60, 62 inches long. And the first end of this that we're going to connect is the 45. So the 45 degree hose fitting connects to the straight adapter on the top of the oil filter. We're then going to run this hose through the inside of the inner fenders and it is going to come out through the top hole or the top of the slot for our hoses. I'm just going to hop around the front to follow this hose for you. Through the top hole or top of the slot, what I typically do is put a, uh, I will bond a plate in here with a screw so that I can use a P-clamp and I can hold that up against the inside of the nose to keep the routing neat and tidy so this doesn't droop down inside the opening at the front of the car. The oil cooler hose loops nicely around the inside of the nose panel over on the side, on the passenger side. We can connect to the other end of it, which is the 90 degree fitting, directly into our oil cooler. Here we are at the front of the car with the oil coming through the second line, through the 90 fitting, through our oil cooler, back out of here to our third and final line, which is about the 42 inch long line. That has a 90 degree fitting on this end. This runs up inside the nose panel and back through either the bottom of our slot or the bottom hole of our oil cooler. Uh, holes in the aluminum panel. Here we are with the third and final line. It's gone through the aluminum panel in the nose. This is going through the bottom of the slot or the bottom hole up over the top of our shock mount inside the inner fender. We'll follow that through to the 90 on the other end. The 90 screws to a straight adapter and finally the cooled oil goes back into the motor. This shows the whole remote oil cooler and remote oil filtering system all set up on an FE motor. 
inside an original style frame. Good luck with your installation and let us know if you have any problems or feedback on our video. Thanks for watching.